It is tiresome, it is exhausting. When he starts crying, you're like, please go to sleep. But then he goes, hee hee, and you go, I got five hours. I would rather get no sleep, but when the baby lets you fall asleep and then wakes you up, that's torture. You think like, wow, it's kind of amazing that a body can function this long with no sleep. The worst night of sleep I've ever gotten, my wife was out of town. On full autopilot, he went down to the edge of the bed where she wasn't. He vomits over all the bed. Picked up nothing, like, like a baby, just like went like this. <laughs> and was like legitimately bouncing. I was trying to help. So I just slept on the floor of the baby room the whole night. I feel like my number one trick to deal with no sleep is just like coffee forever. Coffee. More coffee, all Lots of the coffee. Of coffee. And then some more coffee. I got an app on my phone to get coffee like on demand. And I keep forgetting <laughs> to get the coffee. So they're just like coffee cups waiting for me at different <laughs> locations. <laughs> Accentuate the positive. You have a built-in excuse for anything. 100% true. This we is love that one. the best excuse for anything. Anything. Even when my son is 35, I'm going to be like, oh, my baby, I can't. Baby stuff, you don't know, you don't understand. Adult napping. When your baby naps, the only thing you should try and catch up on is sleep. So that sounds nice. <laughs> Once she goes down for a nap, I try to clean up the family room or clean the bathroom or cut the grass. You know you should sleep but there's all these other things that you didn't get to do. Oh, I get to be human now. <laughs> yeah. Remember, every human parent for thousands of years has gone through this. I hope that's true. <laughs> totally true, we've now done it twice, Very and true. we're here to report you make it through. It is all temporary, it goes by faster than you think. We'll be getting sleep at some point in our lives again. We will survive. Yep.